What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be getting the dirty behind the scenes look inside of a Warzone cheater or hacker's mindset and basically just deep dive into what it's like from their perspective and just see their thoughts and opinions on what Activision is gonna be doing to stop them from hacking and so much more. But before we get started, I just wanna make a quick disclaimer. In no way do I support or encourage people to be hacking and cheating. I just think this video would be a great inside look at how cheaters get punished because it's pretty much a slap on the wrist, which you'll see later on in the video, but instead, I really want to try and raise awareness to this huge issue inside of Warzone because honestly if this continues, I truly think Warzone isn't going to be lasting much longer. Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by Dalton who is a cheater, hacker, modder, whatever you want to call him in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone. So do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Dalton. Uh... You know, just an average player, but, you know, whenever it comes to Call of Duty and you get tired of normal gameplay, you know, you kind of just want to have some fun. This is what my fun looks like. Okay, so th so that's the reasoning behind um, installing cheats and hacks onto your account, just to get something new and do some new gameplay, pretty much? Basically. Okay, alrighty. Um, so let me ask you, how did you come across um hacking and installing mods onto your account like how did you first learn about this um are you talking about this game in general or are you talking about my overall experience yeah just this game in warzone we're gonna we're gonna lock it strictly to warzone so back when this game first started there were you know your first run of hackers that's whenever it i wouldn't say it was at its worst but that's whenever a lot of people notice them more because Nowadays, they tend to put cheaters into cheater lobbies. I've been put into numerous lobbies against other cheaters. Okay. But in this game, I, I think me noticing hacking and wanting to start using them was near the beginning of this life, the game's life cycle. Okay. Um, and let me ask you too, did, was it easy for you to install those mods onto your account? It was. Um, all I had to really do is... Uh, go online find which mods i want to use there and i want to say about four or five different mods available for modern warfare mm -hmm. from different companies and all you gotta do is either install them for free if they allow it for free or pay your i guess you would say your subscription okay um, you can do it months at a time weeks days wh whichever you prefer Wow, so so you gotta pay for these mods to be installed like monthly, pretty much, or weekly? Uh, basically, I mean, um, I would, I'd think of it more of like a uh, Xbox subscription. So uh -huh. you can still have it downloaded and have it accessible to you, but they basically restrict your access. So whenever okay. that time is up, you have no access to your mods anymore. I see. Okay. Um, so how much do you pay for your mods, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I pay monthly. It's about $20 a month. Okay. So, I want to say it's like 6 or $7 a week. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked since whenever I bought. And, but, I know, I think the longest you can get is 6 months or a year. I think that is the longest you can get mods for. Not over yet. Wow. So, yeah, you don't have to say the name of the website or the company where you get the, the hacks from. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and spectate you in the game as you just get a team wipe right there. Jesus. Um, so, wow. Have you had any accounts, like, banned at all or anything? Um, this is my fifth and or sixth account in the past three weeks. Wow, so basically you can just keep making account after account after they get banned? Uh, yes, but from what I'm starting to learn is a lot of the websites where I buy my accounts, they are not offering accounts anymore. So I'm unaware if they just haven't made any more or if they're going to continue that. But as of right now, I'm out of accounts, and this is my last 
really run of accounts I can use. Hey, you guys want to see I Like Tacos get fucked in the ass? Who's I Like Tacos? Um, you'll see in about 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, is that... So you can actually see the names of the people you're coming up to? <laughs> oh my gosh. There, there's I, I Like Burgers. There's I Like Tacos. Uh, uh, they're gone now. Okay, so, um, what can you see on your screen right now? Um, I can tell you where all weapons are, guns are, like... I got guns, ammo, boxes, money. I can see where players are, what weapons they're using, how far they are. Um... Then I think I can turn grenades on and see what kind of grenades are being thrown, but... I mean, to me, that's kind of pointless. Not a lot of people use grenades. They mostly use C4 bouncings in this game. So how long do you plan on keeping these hacks installed onto your account? Just as long as you can? Or do you, you going to um, give people a break, maybe? <laughs> I plan on doing it as long as I can. I mean, whenever I run out of accounts, then I will stop due to not wanting to get my main account banned. One thing they do need to add to this game is, I wish you could hear the death chat that I hear. Oh, really? What, what do people tell you? <laughs> uh, I get everything. I, last night, people were telling me to go kill myself. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Then uh, a lot of people are like, uh, like, they just yell out hacker, or they just give out this like blood-curdling scream. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so when when you were installing the hacks, though, it, it was fairly easy to do. Like, how, how many steps did it take? Um, after purchasing, all it was was, you know, run a driver on your PC. After you run the driver, you go in there, load everything up. It'll prompt you to start the game. You start the game, and then you're good to go. Dang. It legit seems like maybe, what, three steps to do? Five steps at most? Yeah, about five steps at most. It takes roughly a minute to two minutes to get it from, like, fresh boot of your PC all the way up to gameplay. That's incredible. So right now on your screen, you can toggle the mods on and off, or do you have to close out the game? Um, if, I sol if I hit my uh, toggle key, I can make... I could actually just show you real fast. Okay. Let me uh, get, get the top of here. But I'm not going to touch my keyboard or mouse. And I'm just going to turn this on, this on, and unset. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. And it's trying to kill the person that seems fit. Wow. Which, honestly, here, let me just... You gotta, <laughs> you can't even see this guy through trees and you got a hit marker on him. He's probably wondering like, what the heck, where is he? He's calling out to his teammates. So you're not touching anything right now or? <laughs> no, no. Um, at the time I wasn't touching anything, but right now I'm, I'm fully con in control now. That's incredible. It seems just so easy to install something, to install a, a, a hack like this, a mod a, on a AAA title, especially for something so big as Call of Duty and what's even bigger, like Warzone, you know? Um, a lot of people do actually play this game. A lot of people do. It's just kind of unfortunate that it's so easy to hack on this game and really the only thing players can do is just report the player. But like you said, um, you were talking to me earlier, like a, a couple of days ago, your, your account got unbanned, one of your mod accounts, right? Yeah. Um, so the account I'm currently playing on was banned. I'm not sure what Activision does to unban, but I mean, the way it's going right now is it goes off of shadow bans. If you're caught hacking, you get shadow banned, which basically means you try to find a match all that's going to happen is your ping is going to go from 40, 60, whatever your ping is for your connection. It's going to sit there, go from that 40 or 60 and skyrocket up to 100, 200, 300, maxing out around like 4, 450. Wow. So, so that's what the shadow band does pretty much. It, it'll just make it to where you can't even join the game? Exactly. Okay. 
Um, have you gotten into one of those lobbies where they put you with a bunch of hackers? Because Infinity War did come out and say that they're planning on just putting hackers who play the game in lobbies that, that are just filled with everyone's hacking. Have you gotten one of those games yet? Uh, a couple times. Two or three days ago, we got into a match with a couple of friends of mine. And it was nonstop game after game after game. I want to say about four or five games in a row. So are you at all kind of um, like... I guess, do you have some empathy towards the players that you're ruining the games for? Do you care at all or not really? Oh, and that's the point where I die. But uh, I feel bad for some players. I mean, it all just depends on the lobby. I, I, the beginning of the game, I feel, I feel bad for the people. Well, let, let me, okay, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. People at the end of the game are the players I feel sad for due to the fact that they put their time and all that into getting to the last circle or last team, whatever it may be. And whenever they go against a, me, full team, solo, duo, trio, whatever it may be, they're going to get lasered by whatever weapon I have in my hand. Yeah, I think um, definitely for Black Ops Cold War, th this should not be happening because... It's, it's just completely unfair, and it, it does kind of ruin the gamer's experience in, in a way. Um, but at the same time, you know, oh man, you, you're going to let them get the self-revive off? That's, uh, that's, that's crazy, man. Yeah, as I was saying, though, for Black Ops Cold War, I, I hope that something like this does not happen in that game. Maybe there could be an anti-cheating program transferred over to that or, or something, but... I personally feel by next year, if hacking and, and cheating, all that stuff, if it's not fixed by then, I, I don't see Warzone lasting much longer. I really don't. With the whole anti-cheat, I'm not quite sure what Call of Duty did on this game, but it definitely did not play in their favor. I mean, you look at Black Ops 4, there were no cheats on there. I can't remember a time I ever ran into a cheater. Maybe maybe once, if ever. But on this game, I think they tried a new anti-cheat system and it just didn't work out in their favor. Yeah, I have no clue what the technological issues or whatever is going on behind scenes. But definitely for a AAA title, especially in a Battle Royale game, like that's one way that'll kill the game very, very fast. If hacking and modding is not um address quickly and infinity war did they, they did bring that up a couple months ago but ever since then i can't recall much happening after that they basically just came out and said oh yeah we're banning like a couple thousand players a day or they've already banned like seventy thousand, something like that but ever since that that month i cannot remember a time where where they've came out in a community post or, or something like that at all and i think it's time right now that the developers for warzone maybe give us a little update regarding what they're going to do about hackers because again like as you can see here um you know dalton is just making account after account after account and it's not really addressed like they're they're, they're putting patches over the leak but they're not actually stopping the leak completely from, you know, just going all over the place. Oh, come on, investigate. <laughs> Ooh, I, I had a bullet there. That's crazy. You can see all the names, too, of, of the people in the game. I was about to say, uh... Listen, bitch! <laughs> there you go. Shit my pants. Hey, don't try to shoot me, bitch. They probably just think you have a really nice gaming chair. That's why you're... You're doing so oh, good. Oh, dude. Best gaming chair you can buy. Yeah, that fucking Raiden kid is about to get fucked <laughs> if this guy has a sniper. To install the hacks and to get everything working, did you watch, like, a tutorial video from somebody on YouTube or... No. Wow. So you, you just went on the website and walked you through everything. Okay. When Black Ops Cold War comes out and Warzone's integrated into that, do you plan on um, hacking is hacking still if if it's not you know fixed properly, or are you no. gonna give it up? I I plan on playing Cold War legitly. I mean, this game I, I just I ran through everything. I got most of everything platinum, and I just didn't feel like playing this legit anymore. I mean, it, it just out of boredom. Origin Og. 
Jeez. Well, they're going to be spectating. So, um, what do you do if you see, like, a large number of people spectating you? Do you turn off the hack to make it look legit, or do you still keep it on? Um, it just depends on the mood I'm in. I mean, if I want to give them a show, I'll keep the mods on, just let it play through. But if I, I feel like being low-key, trying to keep my account longer than I've, than I've had it, then... I'll sit there and try to be a little bit more sly about it, be a little bit more low-key. So how long does it take for one of your accounts to get banned? A couple days? Or... Um, the fastest I've gotten an account banned is less than 24 hours. And the longest it was was about five days, six days. Okay, yeah. So that's not as long as I thought, but still... For a hacker to be running around in a battle royale Call of Duty AAA game, that's, that's I don't know, still too long to me. Oh, Plank. <laughs> you're gonna, you're looking for him right now? Oh, there he is. There, there's Plank. Yeah, so there's another team left. I'm gonna go ahead and back out really quick so I don't get, Are you oh, sure? oh, I may have accidentally <laughs> backed you out by accident to get the dub. The people in game, every time I killed them, they were just so pissed, like, Especially near the end of the game, I was just sitting there walking on to people. Like, rooftop after rooftop after rooftop, then to the people on the ground, running up and just fucking lasering them before they had a chance to react. And all I would hear is them yell. So let me ask you, how do you think Infinity Ward and the rest of the Warzone developers, how do you think they can go about um, stopping hackers completely inside of the game? Or even, is there a way that they could do that? I mean... In order for them to do anything about the hackers, they're going to have to go to the individual companies. I mean, you shut down the source of the hacks before they can get out there widespread, then you'll reduce the amount of players. Then they individually sit there and monitor each person that gets reported for exploiting, cheating, whatever you want to report them for. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. But definitely in the time for the time being right now, I just do not see hacking and cheating ever coming to a halt right now in games like there's always going to be a hacker in a warzone battle royale game for for the time being in my opinion but yeah guys with that thank you all so much for watching i had a great time interviewing you i truly did getting to the you know dirty bottom of everything and what it's like from a hacker's perspective because i don't think there is a video on youtube right now that you know interviews a, a hacker in warzone and gets you know to the dirty bottom like i said so I appreciate you coming on. Um, and yeah, do you have anything, any last words to say? Make sure you like and subscribe to Mr. The Reverse. <laughs> Alrighty, I appreciate that. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Love you guys so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.